So, Adam, you were saying that uh, you don't mind the, um, the the wind turbines as much. No, not at all. A lot of people complain about them, but they've a lot of the complaints are, you know, shallow. I lived next to them for probably a year and a half now they've been in, and the flashing was the only issue, which is to be expected. The sound, it you completely get used to it. It's it's no different than a slight wind outside. It's not like it's an overpowering whooshing sound. It's not like a, an ocean next to your window or anything. I mean, it's they're not that big a deal. The only thing was, is I wish a lot of the power would be staying in this area rather than directed way down south way. You know. Is the house powered by the turbines? No. Okay. That's where it would be nice if they would have had a contract with We Energies to save the people in the area a little bit of money, but they didn't. I guess it was Alliant, I think it was. And that, a lot of that gets piped down towards Milwaukee, Chicago area. But people complain about them. I don't really have an issue with them. The sound is, you get used to it. Like I said, the flashing is the only annoying thing, but that's from like 7 to 10 in the morning. Um, you said Next Era uh, has agreed to put up awnings. Yeah, Next Era said that you. they would awnings, trees, whatever it took to satisfy the landowners that were affected by them going in, which I thought was very respectable because the last company, Babcock and Brown, was kind of like, yeah, whatever. You don't own any of the property they're on, so we don't want to hear it, which I thought was rude. My, my property got affected by it. I had a lot of flooding because the field washed out because they put a road through a, a field and it ended up all washing right down their road and onto my lawn. And I thought it was very rude to say, oh, big deal. Whereas this uh, uh, next era, new era, when they kick in, they sound like they're going to be a lot more respectable and sympathetic to the landowner's needs, which is basically what we wanted all along. You know, I own the land, I'm stuck with it, I don't want to have to deal with problems that they created after I had bought the property. Because if that would have been the case, that would have affected me buying the property. So I'm, I'm waiting to see and I'm hopeful this summer that they, they hold good on their word.